on this glorious, beautiful Pentecost Sunday. As your bishop, I'm pleased to announce the limited restoration of in-church public weekend masses in the diocese, beginning June 13th and 14th, the solemn feast of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ. A very appropriate time for us to do this, to celebrate. For more details about this, about the sacraments and other things that are, involve our gradual restoration to full sacramental life, please consult the websites of the diocese or of the monitor, and many of the parish websites will have that information as well. But I tell you, my dear sisters and brothers, the dispensation from Sunday or Holy Day Mass, that obligation will remain, the, the dispensation will remain in effect until Monday, September the 7th. Now, I emphasize that any, any of the public masses we begin celebrating in two weeks will be limited in number, the number of those who will be able to attend. So be conscious of that. And also, there will be a limit to the number of masses that will be offered or celebrated. Uh, masks must be worn, no exceptions. Social distancing will be observed. Hand washing, all of these things must be practiced at every public mass. Gathering groups indoors still remains a serious risk for contracting or spreading this extremely, extremely contagious virus. And so I say to you, those who are fearful, those who are not feeling well, those who are possibly carriers but asymptomatic, those who are in every high-risk category should avoid any, any public gathering, especially an indoor gathering, and stay home at the present time. On June 17th at 2 p.m., the diocese will broadcast online a special memorial mass that I will be celebrating as bishop for all the souls of our beloved dead throughout the diocese who have passed away since March 1st of this year. The intentions of all of those holy souls will be remembered in my Mass. I've invited the pastors in the parishes of the diocese to submit their names to me, the names of the beloved dead, so that I can place them on the altar for remembrance at this Mass. And so please, any names that you may have of your beloved departed, please send to your pastor or to your parish priest for this prayerful remembrance. We have joyful news as well in the diocese. On Saturday, June the 20th, here in this co-cathedral, I will ordain six men to the transitional or permanent diaconate. One transitional deacon who will be ordained priest next year, and five permanent deacons. This is a celebration of great joy for us, for them, for their families. Unfortunately, that celebration, that Mass, will be restricted. It will be tickets only. It's not open to the public, but I invite you to pray for these men who have been preparing for the diaconate for so long that God might be with them, bless them and their families. The following Saturday, again here in the Co-Cathedral, I will ordain, ordain to the priest, Deacon Stephen Sansevier. Uh, he will be ordained after serving as a deacon for many, many years in our diocese. But this too is a celebration of great joy. He's cur currently serving as the deacon at St. Teresa's in Little Egg Harbor. Again, this mass will not be open to the public. It will be limited by tickets. However, I invite you also to pray for Steve. So much that we're doing in the church is so unusual, so different than we would like, different than we usually do, but I know I can count on you to be responsive and respectful of all the directives and also to be responsible, responsible in praying for all of us in the diocese that we may continue to love and serve the Lord as he calls us to, as the Holy Spirit calls us to, especially in these difficult days.